Okay, uh, some of you have asked me to do this, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, but I'm doing it in the easiest way possible for the majority of you who might be interested in this to be able to adapt it to your guitar. And that is by dropping the key that it was originally played in from A minor, open A minor. Uh, it's a modified open A minor, to open E minor, which is what I did um, for the session is I started in a, I, I, in that particular session where I played the this particular piece for Left 4 Dead 2, I was in open A minor. So it'd be like uh, putting a capo here on the fifth fret and playing it, but uh, instead, I tuned my strings so they would be in that configuration. So that way, when I, I didn't use a capo, and I could take advantage of um, the entire length of the neck, and my guitar here, as you can see, is 12 frets to the neck, uh, this guitar that I made. Um, and that was the style that I was playing in at the time that I was invited to do this piece. So um, here we go. It's, it mostly happens, I should note, uh, on the first string, the majority of it. There's only one section that doesn't happen on the first string and where I'm using my slide to bar. And that's the last part of this. But the beginning of it and the middle of it, and like I say, the majority of it is all on the first string. So you're not... And then the other thing I'm doing is I'm finger picking it. And I didn't put any finger picks on. I just uh, thought it's easy enough to kind of do this without picks and demonstrate uh, what's going on. So the first couple of notes is... a. Uh, And that's uh, me um, using my slide up here on the 12th fret. And that's why I wanted the freedom of the neck to be unencumbered by a, 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 a capo. It's because the very beginning of it is. And that's me uh, uh, picking the uh, first and second string um, at the 12th fret and then dropping it to the 10th fret. So that's a. Uh, And then I'm doing what's called an independent thumb sort of bass move there, where my thumb is bouncing back and forth from the sixth string, in this case, to the fourth string, which are tuned an octave apart in this particular configuration, open E minor. Uh, maybe I should start with that. Uh, the tuning is um, E at the first string, B, at the second string, G, at the third string, then E at the fourth string, and the fifth string is B, and then the sixth string is E. That's open E minor. So um, again, we'll start with the... And that's the introduction to it. And then I go into... Um, just a finger picking thing where I'm bouncing back and forth off the first off the sixth and the fourth string which are both E okay and that first note I'm picking the high E string, so it's all E. I'm bouncing with my thumb off the sixth and the fourth. And that first note in uh, E would be, let's see, where am I? What am I doing there? That's a B. So it's like uh, I'm sliding up to that B on the seventh fret. So.
Okay, so that's kind of the main uh, sort of meat of the beginning of the melody. It's uh, B, it's, it's E, B, C, B, A, C, B. So, go all the way up uh, after that first go round of that I bounce up to the instead of just the the open E there I go to the 12th fret which is also an E and I drop from A to G so there's a little alteration in that pattern so Just repeating that line. Uh... Excuse me. And the end of that little thing that I was mentioning before, that uh, that melody structure. It uh, is um, a series of barred, and I use my slide to bar from A down to G. So it's a it's a series of whole steps. So it's A G. I believe that's F. Yeah, F. So that's what we're doing there. I'm not a, I don't read music or, I'm just trying to give you the idea here as best I can. And I think that that's basically it. So uh, you got the. So that's a, A, G, F, G, and then open. And you're sliding up to the 12th fret, that E, and I'm hitting those two strings, the E and B, to get that little turnaround. And dropping two frets to get that note, those notes.